everybody welcome back to my channel this is Celia and it's Thursday and today was supposed to be my last day working at Target but there was a whole snafu and they took me off the schedule and didn't tell me until I went into work on Monday but anyway um I'm I was supposed to be moving on Tuesday this next week Tuesday but we had a delay with the house sale, so, um, sorry, I'm actually writing in my planner. Because I like to write down when I do videos. Um, so I realized I haven't done a video in a bit. My brain has been scattered because I've been packing and trying to figure out what um, I wanted to put in the car with me, but I have a small car, and what I want to put in storage, not knowing when I'd be back on the East Coast, and now everything's just kind of on hold, and this is my writing table. I used to have, like, washi, um, organizers and everything, and now it's just kind of a few little piles of stuff, but... Anyway, I'm glad I didn't uh, give this table away yet because I still need it. So, um, I was thinking about the video last night, and I think it was last night, and um, I just thought I'd chat and show you what I'm up to. So, this is my current um, journal. It's a Peter Buffer Press. Oh, there we go. And it's huge. And But I've been meaning to use this for a while, so now was the time. I figured it would be good because I'm going through, like, stuff, old photo albums, and I find pictures. So, you know, I've been sticking those in just to put them somewhere. And... Yeah, I mean, I love Peter Popper Press. I love the paper and the covers are so pretty, but this one's big and every day when I'm writing in it, like I'll drop it or something and I'm like, man, this is so big. So, um, cause I don't always write here on my table. And if you saw my last video, you saw my cat. Well, she's uh, over by the window there. Is it there? Where is it? Over there. There's a window. My I put my table right next to the window. And she's looking out the window. So she might make an appearance again. So anyway, what else was I going to talk about here? If you're new to my channel, I don't edit my videos. Not yet. Maybe someday I'll get it together, but I just like to chat and be, you know, do simple things. I'm a simple person. Um, so anyway, all right. So I showed you my current journal. As usual, it's lots of writing. I did put washi in here. A while ago, I was going to use this like three or four journals ago, so, um, I think I decorated it for August, maybe, so I have like pink stuff, and, but then I was like, oh, I'll probably use it in the fall, and so I put some Halloween stuff in, but I've put my Halloween stuff away. I actually did it like a week before Halloween, I think, because it was just, I don't know. I was just done with, I needed some more color in my life. So anyway, all right, so that's my journal. I have this page open because I wrote what I wanted to do for this. But there was a quote about writing that I wrote down, and I probably should have bookmarked it, but I wanted to read it. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So, um, this was a quote I saw on Facebook about um, writing and grieving, and I thought it was so inspirational. So, I had to write it down because, of course, those of us who write and do journals know this to be true, but it just... Um, It made me feel good because this is what writing does for me. So anyway, and it's not necessarily, you don't have to be grieving to write, but this is um, the context in which I saw this quote. Writing while grieving has been known to boost the immune system and increase mood and well-being. Writing can also help release difficult em emotions and is a tool for self-expression. So I really like that. What else was I going to say? Um, so I know I've done my Delphonics pouch um, tour before. And I think I actually did it a couple videos ago telling you what I was um, bringing with me to move or packing. But it has changed. It always changes. I know a lot of people have really cute setups in their galvanics. I don't. It's just everything's jam-packed in there, but this is one of the medium ones. I have two medium ones and one small. I just have like one pin in there. Most people have a lot of pins. And then on the zipper pull, I have this. Um, this is Poe from Sweet Kawaii Design. And then I have Hello Kitty that I got from Erin Condra. And then I'm just going to dump out what's in here. So this I packed up to have in the car with me and take into hotels when I'm moving across country. I also have this little one, which is mostly what I pull from now. This is a Copy Monsters Co. But um, this is just to show you, like, how much you can fit in here. Oh, it's not organized, like look at it. But um, I just, I always love to see what people have. And I don't even know what I have in here because I was looking for my white out and I couldn't remember where I packed it. Oh, there it is. All right, well, it's good to know it's in here. So look at this pile of stuff. All of this fit in my Delphonics case. So well, let's put back in. Um, I do have some clips. I have Poe again. So I just have them clipped and I have, I think this is Simon. If you, um, Oh, I have two Poe clips. In fact, I think I might have three. Poe is my favorite. But um, if you are a Sweet Kawaii Design fan, let me know. I think that's Simon. I always forget the other characters' names. So I play my note. I have packaging tape. I have a roll of scotch tape because I still have my scotch tape dispenser on my table, but I'm not going to take the whole dispenser, but I do use the scotch tape. I have double-sided tape. I'm trying to find some things that I only have one of or whatever. This is scissors, pocket scissors. I actually don't really use them, but put them in my pouches. I have three dice. Why I have these, um, sometimes I use them for, like, savings challenges with money, like, I'll play a little game, like, I'm gonna roll the dice, and whatever it lands on, that's what I'm putting in my savings account, whatever. So, three dice. I thought I only had two, but I have three. 
Um, so I have all these refills for my paintings. My pendants are these ballpoint pens that I use that are like crystal pens. I have a bunch of them. I'm gonna find them. We'll put those away. I have a ton more. This is just what I have in here. So I hope you can see them. A thermometer. And I have this is called a healing stick. It's basically what is it? Cocoa butter or something. Yeah. And I have some chapstick. Alright. I don't even know how many pens this is, but this is like a bunch of pen gems. But I go through them pretty fast, so I like to rotate which one I'm using, and it was hard to choose what to bring, so I have a bunch in there. I have oh, another pen gem. I have these highlighters from Erin Condren. I know I packed more highlighters, but I'm trying to use these. I have a bunch of like, paper clips and binder clips. Oh, I have a penny. I don't know where that came from. That's in there now. too much but I wanted to have a few and I have lots of washi this is like all simply gilded now up until like last week it was all like Halloween and but I needed some brighter or they're not really bright but I needed some different colors in my life so and I don't decorate for Thanksgiving because I don't like Thanksgiving. It's just my personal thing. Um, and I also don't like traditional Christmas colors. So I just use whatever colors I want to use. Some more. Simply Gilded Washi. I don't know how many are in here. I think originally I packed a certain amount, but then switch them. And now, alright, let me get out the pens, because I have different types of pens here. These are gel pens. I have, these are two all, these three. Two black and one brown. I have a Pilot D2. And then the rest of my pens. Or kind of gel pens. So that's what's in my telephonics case. Because this week I'm really into my other gels. Although that could change. Um that's not all the journaling stuff I packed. That's just what I have immediately like near me. What I'll have in the front of the car and when I take him to the hotel or whatever. And let me show you what's in here because this has changed too. Um, I do have tons of other pens and washi packs, but I also put a ton in storage. So 
this is crazy. So yeah, um, this is what I use. Like, I usually have this one open on my desk so that I can grab certain things. So I have more Erin Condren highlighters. I have these uni ball pens, the tiny ones. Uniball. I think they're called Uniball 1P, something like that. They're so cute. I have another pen gem. I have two inner gels. I have a pen gem refill. I have another tool gel pen. A Sarasa. I have a glue stick. I have some more paper clips, which I think I'll put some in here. I have a coin. It's actually no, it's it's ten pence. Um I have all these coins from traveling overseas and I don't know what to do with them, so I use this one to scratch off some savings challenges I do. And for those who um, maybe aren't into budgeting channels, I'll show you my savings challenges. I have a bunch in here. So I just order these from different Etsy sellers. And these ones on the hard paper or say, um, you scratch them off, so that's why I have the coin, and then that's how much I put. Obviously, I'm behind because I'm only doing like one per week, so I'll be doing Halloween for a while. But I keep the coin in here so I don't lose it. I have three little washi from Simply Gilded. And then I have two crystals, a little thanosis. I thought I lost this one and it popped up the other day, so I was very excited. And then I have this little juniper. Juniper is, oh, the cat just like was jumping around in my bed. I didn't know what was happening. Juniper is from Simply Gilded. I have I'm not really a figurine person, but I have, I think I have six of the junipers because she had blind boxes, so they were in different dresses and stuff. So one day, this fell off of my um, washi organizer, and it fell right into my pouch. So I was like, well, that's a sign. So junipers, this juniper is coming with me. And that, I think, is everything that I wanted to update you on. Um, I'm still using my Moleskin Daily Planner, a pocket one. Look how chunky she is. And I love it. And I could not exist without all these lists. And then my other planner that I use is... I hope in each weeks. And again, I love it. Um, I use it more for my bills, but also I was keeping track of the like, road trip stuff and I had to cross things out. That's why I was looking for my layout and ended up covering stuff up with stickers. Like I did this whole sheet right here yesterday just putting big stickers down because it was about my trip that was delayed and I do have these same two planners for next year okay everybody I think that's it so thanks for coming by and welcome to all the new people and if you have any comments or um you want to tell me about what you would pack to travel with like i know some a lot more people travel 
more than I do. So what do you find is necessary to have immediately close to you when you're on the go? I'd love to hear about it. And I'm sure other people would too. So um, I'm not really sure like going forward how my videos will be out. I used to try to do them on Sundays, but life has been a little crazy lately. But I'll get back to you when I have something exciting to tell you. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.